You probably clicked onto this video because the house in the thumbnail is just so good looking. Well, it's actually made out of crates. In this video, I challenged myself to build a house without using the build category, and I successfully somehow pulled it off. As you can see by this number, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that big red button down below, and maybe even drop a like to help support the channel. Enjoy the video. So you're probably asking me how I'm gonna do this challenge, but the plan is simple. Look, we have decorations, we have a plot, and I have an idea idea. It's, and you see, the thing with decorations is you can stack them. And in the decorations tab, we have crates. Exactly. We're gonna build a Minecraft house. And you can stack these so they look like walls. I, I guess this could be a doorway. And then we can use these like this to make wall but first we need to think of how would someone lay out a house built with crate so i'm gonna make a solid wall oh i want to add windows too oh wait no built windows aren't built what if i just look we have windows perfect so here's our entrance oh our doorway though how are we gonna do our doorway these table runners that 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 i don't know you can put stuff on them there is our door now the hardest part of this challenge is probably gonna be the roof because i can work with gardening because gardening is also in the decorate section so that won't be a problem oh i could probably use these two or you just <laughs> do this, which would work, but I don't want to be lazy like that. We're just going to keep continuing with these walls where I'm, I think I'm just going to make a square or something. Maybe like this, this, a window right here. So we're going to add a window right there. Oh, I am smart. We have longer table runners so we can use those ones instead. Okay, we have our second window. Unfortunately, we won't be able to have glass in these though. Let's see what we're working with. So we have beds, everything you have in a house. Gardening, there might be something else I could use for windows, maybe. How about, okay, well, this was a bit smaller than I thought. How about this for a doorway? If it's like literally perfectly. Oh, I don't think anything can replicate glass much. You know what? We're going to leave that for now. We're just going to keep building. So our entrance is going to be something like this. And then I think I'm going to use these to mark out the doorway. Here's going to be the living room, kitchen, and then back here is going to be the bedroom. Let's just get all the walls down for now. And then we can start punching out windows. Bam, our house is taking shape. Honestly, the hardest part is probably gonna be the roof, but this is actually looking really good. Okay, so we have separated our kitchen, living room, and this is much smaller than I thought. Maybe I need to extend it out a little more. It's looking more like a maze. <gasps> How do we do floors? Carpets. Ah, okay. Carpets, carpet. You know, this might not be too bad of a challenge. Obviously gonna paint it linen, and then we have our flooring. Just gotta match it with every other part of the house. Make sure it doesn't overlap like this. You know what? It doesn't matter. Okay, we need to bring this wall out just like maybe two or three crates. So we can actually fit everything that we need to put in here. So like the couches and kitchen stuff and we just gotta bring our carpets back pretty good now let's punch out some windows actually let me finish these ones first bam okay so we have our entrance kitchen and living and then we also have our bathroom let's just finish this off and then we can punch out some windows okay there we go we have our house okay how much does this actually cost because crates are quite expensive this is already 12k this is not going to be a money friendly challenge i can see that now where do we want windows we're going to have one here where else do we want a window maybe here no i still don't know how to do windows like how am i supposed to make the actual glass maybe we don't need them if i find a way i'll definitely put them in there though it's gonna be pretty cold if there's no windows we have our house now for the roof i really don't know how to do this roof because we can't really use much i guess we could go with plate uh, i mean not plates uh crates again but if there's anything in the gardening section that we can use it's probably gonna be a gazebo but what does that look okay that looks pretty bad if i'm gonna be honest and it's also really expensive 1.4 oh it's actually not that bad okay we can we can work with it okay yeah this one's gonna go there we're gonna have four gazebos this is gonna look so weird oh we're not gonna have lights either actually wait no are there lights in decorations ah yes there are let's just put them in each room for now fortunately for the um bathroom there's not gonna be any door so people who whoever is doing their business in there won't have any privacy we have our basic house we have um walls uh, makeshift gazebo ceiling. And it's actually not looking too bad. This is the bathroom. It's, it's looking pretty sad. Maybe I'll punch out a window right here. You can jump out the windows. Um, that's... I, I, I don't know what to do about that, really. That's probably gonna be my one main issue for this entire challenge. Probably, yeah. And I guess we could start decorating. I mean... 
Is there any doors? I haven't checked everything. We're definitely not using this Fabergé egg or this 100 visits trophy. So I guess we could start with the chicken. Uh, kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna have the fridge right here, and then we're gonna have the stove right here in the wall. Cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. Shaker cabinets, in my opinion, are the best ones. I don't know why. So we have our kitchen. We're gonna put a little counter or like island table, but it's not gonna be using the counter. It's gonna be using this desk and maybe a carpet. Actually, can you stack carpets? Can you put carpets on top of carpets? Aw, oh, you can't. Alright, alright. We're not gonna have any carpets, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna keep decorating, though. Let's get a coffee machine in here and then um let's also get a microwave where can we put this microwave you know what? maybe we don't need a microwave microwaves no microwaves fine let's move on to the living room. we're gonna have our counters right here so i might actually live in this it doesn't even look that bad we're gonna have a super widescreen tv and then we're also gonna have some extra i wonder if we can put books down here okay let's continue let's get some plants in here because it's looking pretty bare honestly i'm really proud with myself like i i came up with the idea of using crates i came up with the idea of using gazebos i made windows somehow it's all come to plan it's it's all coming together it's it's working do we need a couch in my last video i didn't use a couch maybe i'll just rotate this we have our kitchen and living room done we're gonna have coat hanger a coat hanger a coat hanger this is a coat hanger yeah this is a coat hanger we have our coat hanger right here and then a little trash can for whoever brings in some trash and then that's gonna be basically our front entrance honestly i might use crates for the roof as well i'll work on that later but i just want to speed through the uh process of decorating this thing because i really want to get back to working on the outs because then it wouldn't be really a challenge you know you, you guys would just be watching me decorate so where are the sinks right here oh well that that doesn't look too good maybe that that's a pretty cool design but no we're not gonna use it. what um my counters don't seem to have countertops that's a little weird how do we get a sink in here without it looking weird i mean we could just have one counter we're not gonna have mirrors actually we are gonna have mirrors watch this uh first let's add our knife cutting board and then some soap wash our hands with and then some paper towel dry your hands with we're gonna have a mirror how are, we, how are we gonna add a mirror a mirror we can't put these on crates i don't think so i think the best mirror we're gonna have is the pretty princess mirror and of course you can't put it behind the sink lovely okay we'll just put it right here next to the soap have our little bathroom all complete finally the bedroom and then i can start working on the outside again because i really want to get back to that and make it actually look nice inside really doesn't matter because you know, I can only work with decoration. There's no challenge, like I said. We're gonna delete the gazebos because I'm gonna revise the roof and see if I can make a pointy thing. That would be kind of cool if I could. We have our bedroom. Pretty bare though. What else can I add for the bedroom? We're gonna put dressers. Dressers, dressers, dressers. It's gonna kind of get in the way of the door, but it's all right. Let's get a flamingo. Mr. Flamingo and Mrs. Flamingo, you can chill up here while I work on the roof. All right, so for the roof, I kind of want to use... Uh, crates and make a gable or mansard roof, which would be kind of cool. Or I could make uh, some sort of tower at the back. That would be even cooler. <laughs> I think I'm leaning towards the tower bit. So I'm gonna make the bedroom really tall. It better not cost like 100k when I'm done. Really not profitable. If I see my money drop below 1 million, I'm gonna be really sad. And then I might stream myself working. But that's that's a good thing for you guys at least okay we have our tower <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is but it's looking pretty all right yeah this is weird okay so what can we work with in our decoration tab towels wood wooden tiles what else can you stack the barrels can we stack these we can it's definitely possible okay we're gonna have a chimney we're gonna have a chimney and then our, our top piece has to be this thing okay where where are the electronic where's the thing that emits smoke because then that that would make it there we go we have a we have a chimney we're gonna put our chimney right above the kitchen yeah yeah i like that i like that what else can we work with so in the decorate tab we have carpets appliances blocks bucks oh i didn't even take this into consideration <laughs> but there's nothing i can use okay let's keep going baby and kids is there anything i can yeah there's no way maybe tables what what can go on a slant maybe we are actually gonna have to use crates that that might be something i have to use there's no way around it this is 
beautiful. This is 10 out of 10. I would give this a 10 out of 10. If if I held like um uh, building competitions, for example, and someone submitted something like this, I would automatically give them the win. All right, let's go with the crates again because uh, there's really nothing else to do. Okay, so for the roof, let's make it red. Contrast, guys contrast we're gonna have crate colors and then red oh there's a slight gap you know what whatever this tower's gonna kind of stick out at first i could put a chandelier because that's still part of the challenge i think it's not in build section right there's no way so that's the base of the roof done so currently it's 210 i just finished drinking my coffee i don't really sound that energetic though um uh, maybe i need to do some exercise later though maybe not in the video i also put this sign on the door that says i'm recording so hopefully nobody busts in and yells at me or something i might actually keep this i mean i have a lot of plots that i keep but this one's especially cool okay so there's our second layer i wonder if we can copy and paste yes we can okay so this will make it much okay we're gonna start rounding it out at the top guys i'm not just getting lazy i can assure you that it's just gonna look better if i just round it out this is actually looking like a playground it's like something you would find wait no it looks like that one roblox house that really original one i don't know what it's called but it's it's a roblox house yes this one this this is the house i'm talking about. this is the red house i th this looks so identical but better and it's in blocksburg and it's made by me so it's much better okay we're gonna make a gable roof so this is gonna slant up a little right right everybody but the question is how am i supposed to make a line going this way is that even possible i think table mats are the way to go here let's put one here and then now it'll also be easy to replicate Okay, okay, it's taking shape. We have our little cartoony castle looking house that actually looks really good. Somehow, some some way, I, I, I did this all by myself. And I'm not really good at building, or maybe I am after this video. For this part though, this part's gonna be hard because I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I don't know if you guys heard my chair right there, but it's getting really squeaky and it hurts my back. Okay. Okay, this this is this is not fair. Like, I don't deserve to be this good at building. Yes, 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 yes. And we have our moai, our 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 head up here, chimney guy. How do I do this entire middle part? <laughs> this is gonna be. So I got like most of the sides done, but there's still so much of the other stuff that I have to do. So what if I make it easier for myself and cone everything in inwards? So like the tower we did, because that was pretty easy. I just got an amazing idea. What if I can place a gazebo on here, uh, which I can't. All my hopes just got destroyed. All right, um, looks like we're actually gonna have to place these individuals. How much money am I at? Okay, I might actually not go under a mill. Here. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, I feel like I'm really rushing. Actually, no, I think I'm just good at building. I don't know how many times I'm gonna compliment myself. And then we're also gonna put a flagpole. Okay, maybe we're not gonna put a flagpole. What can I put up here that's like really tall? And what can I put on a crate? A stop sign. No? What can I put up here? A stool? Yes. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. I totally forgot about them. I'm gonna move them up here. Oops, I moved the entire wall. Come on, Mrs. Flamingo. Let's put you up at the top mr flamingo you can come with me as well mr flamingo you can be up here with mrs flamingo and then you can make a little heart shape up here <laughs> don't ask do not ask in the comment section i do not want to see a single comment about mrs and mr flamingo they belong up here they're my tamed pet let's keep it going with the roof it's coming along really well how come these table runners cost 115 dollars each i get them at walmart for like 30 dollars all right whatever it's fine i have 1 million dollars as a teenager we have the most expensive chandelier it's gonna be floating does that really matter of course not not in this house floating lights do not matter and then we can flatten this out okay easy peasy lemon squeezy can't see anything with my beautiful chimney in the way <gasps> this is so amazing oh we need a we need a path how do we make paths carpets carpets we need carpets and we're gonna co color them what, what are we gonna color them we're gonna color them cloudy gray and stone this is so nice this is amazing okay let's get um more gardening around here because we need a little more gardening around this castle of ours would it be okay if i made a floor and colored the grass different or would that be not going by the challenges you know what? I'm just gonna obey the challenge rules. We're not gonna use a floor. We're just gonna color these. Okay, so let's take a tour of our house. Hopefully it's daytime. It's all right. 
We we know what it looks like. So from the outside, it's a house. It looks like a house. Wait, what are the bills? I have to pay bills on this house, but it, it's made entirely of decorations. 201, and it costs 67k. That's quite a lot. You know what we need? We need lights. We need street lamps out here. Okay, now let's look at our house. So from the outside, it, I mean, it looks like a house, right? From the front, it might look just a little sketchy because there's no walls and there's also no windows. So we walk in, we have our coat hanger. We also have our trash can and this entire floor is made out of carpets, but you can't tell because I just did it so well. Okay, and then we have our uh, super tall ceilings with uh, floating lights, which is all right because it's Bloxburg. And then to our right, we have our living room and kitchen. Our living room has a super wide flat screen TV displaying news and merrily Illuminati. Let's turn this off. It's, it's so bright. Okay. And then in our kitchen, we have our basic stove and fridge. Uh, we also have our bathroom right here. No mirror, no mirror, uh, unfortunate. But we have this little princess mirror. It'll do the trick. And we have our hairbrush. And then on our right, we have our toilet, which a lot of privacy given. And then our shower, enough privacy given. And then if anyone tried to rob me, they could just jump through the window. Safety rules. And then we have our princess tower with, with a bed. And then that's pretty much it for the inside of the house. For the outside, we have Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. I don't know what they're doing up there, but I hope it's not anything bad. We have our swing set out here. It's a swing set. We have our Moai head up there as our chimney. And then we have a globe because this is the house that sits atop of the world or the world that sits atop of the house. I don't know. But anyways, this is the completed uh, a house built without using the built category. It's it actually turned out amazing. I didn't think I'd do this well with it.